What's going on traders? Welcome back to another recap of today's trades. Now, if you're new here, I do go live every morning, Monday through Friday for about an hour at market open. So whatever time the market opens in your area, you can guarantee I will be live. You can join for free and watch me trade in and out of positions, get inside my head as to why I even took that position and ask questions that you may not uh, know or understand as we progress through. Now, I am going to be sharing my screen with you in just a minute. We're going to be talking about how I was able to lock in some profits and how I'm able to consistently lock in profits every single day. Now, I do have some red days. Everyone has red days, but I have very little red days. I have now been able to consistently lock in anywhere from 20 to $40 every single day. And that is great because it's going right along with my goal or my weekly target of 200 to $300 a week, which will make me anywhere from um, 800 to $1,000 a month in extra income that can be used to trade more or whatever it is that I want to do. And that's how I'll be able to grow my account over time. And I wanna show you exactly how I'm able to do it. So um, I will be sharing my screen with you guys now and going over this Mara trade. Now, as you can see here, Mara had a huge, huge push up this morning. And we've actually been watching this company for quite some time. I've been trading it for the last couple of, uh, if not weeks, the last couple of months here. Okay, I've been trading this very much so. Now, I've traded it as high as $23. I've traded it in the $20 range. I've even traded it in the $19 range. And as you can see here, we're waiting for this to sell off and get confirmation of upward momentum from these low of say 1840 1850 and it has done so now this company is extremely volatile I'll never tell you what to buy hold or sell that's not what I do here but what I do showcase is easy steps that you can follow and some of my best practices that I use to grow my account consistently on a daily uh, on a daily and weekly basis now let's talk about that my four key focuses before entering any trade is one it has to have direction direction is in your favor in whichever way you're going to invest whether you go long or you go short uh, you will want direction in your favor two is patterns to be able to identify consistent patterns obviously here of upward momentum right and understanding that patterns can and tend uh, and tend to repeat themselves over time. Now, it doesn't always have to happen, but it can happen. And then also identifying key levels, obvious levels of support and obvious levels of resistance, okay? And then finally, opportunity cost. You wouldn't necessarily buy a brand new iPhone at $1,000 if you can buy them brand new for 800. Same thing with stocks. You want an opportunity to buy, say, that same iPhone for four or $500, knowing that the value of it is $800. Same with stocks, okay? So Mara is what we traded today, and we made a little bit over $20 here, as you can see here, and we were able to lock in those profits. And on a consistent basis, $20 a day can be $100 a week, which is $400 a month. Um, you know, you get a little bit more than that. Say you make $25 a day, right? That's $125 a week. So it actually adds up over time to where eventually you can make $100, $200 a day, and even $1,000 a day if that is your goal. Now, this works for everyone across the board, whether you have a small account, a large account, all these principles and best practices will be able to help you find your areas of opportunity to be successful in the market. We also don't trade on anyone's opinion. We don't trade based on anyone's opinion. And uh, again, I will never tell you what to buy, hold, or sell. I'm not Roaring Kitty, so I'm not trying to create a movement and stick it to the man and let's pump this stock up and then sell it when it gets super high. That's not what we do here. This is all educational information for you to learn and start growing your account more consistently. So as you can see here, we identified a key support level and I did buy 10 shares at 1861. 
Now, I do have a video on a trader's checklist. Please um, check that out after this video because we go into more detail on my key focuses before a trade, what I actually do during a trade, and then my final thoughts um, after making a trade and selling out of that position. But one of them is identifying support levels. And as you can see here, our support level was at, say, 1861. Well, we bought in at 1861. I only added 10 shares, even though I can buy more shares in this, I could buy over 100 shares of this company, but I wanted a light position. And as it started showing signs of upward momentum, I bought another 10 shares at 1889. And then it had a nice pullback and I waited for confirmation again. I didn't buy at the low, but I did wait for it to start showing signs of upward momentum. Bought another four shares at 1882 and then sold all 30 shares, leaving me about four shares on the table at 1903. So buying low at 1861, averaging up 1889, and then again at 1882, and being able to sell at this high at the first indication of a pullback right there. That red candle was an indication of a pullback saying to myself, hey, this is overextended, it's overbought, people are gonna start selling and locking in profits. And I was able to lock in profits at 1903. Now that's not where it ended. We sold out of that in our live stream and this all played out in our live stream so you can watch that after this video as well and watch me actually take these positions live and talking to our viewers at the same time. We sold that position and we didn't necessarily wait for comp um, we didn't necessarily get in at a low point. Well we bought here at 10 more shares at 1926. Now, 10 shares at 1926, I'm putting like 190, $200 increments of my position size as we go up. Another 10 shares at 1924, and then again, selling at 1939, I sold 23 shares, leaving me one share. And again, we rolled this up, and then as soon as it showed signs of it coming down, I locked in profits. And not only that, if I would have just held this company, we could have locked in a lot more profits. But the thing is, is this could have sold off very easily just like this and came back down. Okay. Or it could just start trading sideways like this. And we're going to get into that now. Now, I did see that it was starting to go up again. So what did I do? I bought some more. I bought 20 shares at 1951. I bought another 13 shares at 1969, and then I sold for my third day trade of the day at 1977, selling all of my shares, 34 shares, right around um, like $700, right? I didn't invest completely 100% of all my position or all of my account size into this company. I was very light. And then I sold 34 shares at 1977 at those first signs of pullback. Now, there are a lot of things that I could have did better with this trade, and we're going to go over those, right? I could have literally bought at any point in time down here and just let this ride. Let it go up. Let it do its thing, right? I could also have a trailing stop loss. So as it rose, it would continue to increase the stop loss, and then I could have stopped out at the first signs of a major pullback, locking in way more profits. You know, I was thinking maybe around $60, um, 50 to $60 in profits instead of $20 in profit. But I wasn't greedy. I didn't want to take my chances and we locked in profits. And that's the whole point of this. That's how we stay consistent. No matter how much money we leave on the table, as long as we made some money and we're in the green, then we're able to consistently grow our account. I waited for confirmation that it was moving in an upward direction. I identified my key levels. I understood the patterns that were playing out from previous days, and I understood opportunity cost. Now, the opportunity cost buying low here and just putting all my money in and going up was about a 6% profit. Now, guys, I only locked in about a 2% profit on this trade. So I missed out on 4% that I could have had, right? 6% would have been right around $60 for me and this small account. Now, with that said, I also was able to play out three trades. Now, I'm going to be able to do another three trades tomorrow, another three trades the next day. Well, how is that? You just said you had a small account. 
yes, this account that I have on the individual cash account for Webull is under the $25,000 PDT rule, which means if I make more than three trades in a five-day period, I can get flagged as a pattern day trader and my account could get restricted for up to three months. That is just crazy. But because I don't have a margin account, I have a cash account, I am able to take advantage of being able to use more day trades than a typical margin account, okay? And this is important. The more day trades you have, the more opportunity you have to be able to take on these positions, right? And I can also get out at first signs of a pullback. So with that said, how are we even able to do that? Well, I've made three trades today. I made three or four trades yesterday. Okay, so let's use an example. If you have $1,000 in your account and you use $200 for a trade, buy and sell, you now have $800 left to make more trades. Now this is important because if I spent $1,000 on this one buy-in, used all my money, right? Used the whole account and wrote up and sold, that's it. You made a little bit of money, now you're out, you have to wait because it's called um, using settled funds. Now, this $1,000 is unsettled until tomorrow. Now, it used to take two days, it only takes one day now. So tomorrow, I could then use my $1,000 again, make one day trade, and wait after I sell it for it to go and be settled again. Now, that's still five day trades a week. Well, guys, I'm doing anywhere from 15 to 20 all around trades every single week because I'm able to use a smaller position, lock in profits, smaller position, lock in profits, and then another smaller position and lock in profits. So each time this was about uh, $300, I think it's like three or $400 here, three or $400 here, and then another three or $400 here. For a total of around you know a thousand to twelve hundred dollars total on these three trades, and I was able to lock in profits. Now, if I would have just held, right? Say on this last one, I didn't sell at clear sign, and I was like, you know what? It's been running up all day. I'm just gonna go ahead and let let this ride. Then we'd actually be down. Look at this. Look where we are. I would actually be down from where I, my last entry was 2.63%, which means I would have gave back the entire $20. Now, another reason why this is important and I like to showcase my recaps is not just for me to understand opportunities to grow, what I did wrong and what I did right, and how I can kind of adjust my trading style but I hope this gives you a little bit more input and insight on exactly ways that you can find areas to be a better investor. Now, I could have waited for this to pull back more, waited for signs of indication of a pull up, made 1% there, could have did it again, could have did it again. And as you can see, these are nice one little percent plays. So a couple hundred bucks here would have made me like 10, $20. Another couple hundred bucks here, 10 or $20. And before you know it, this $20 could be 50, 60, 70, $80. Now, once we start getting more money in the account and the account starts growing, you know, consistently the way it is, we can then start doing that. And uh, I just, I don't find it very valuable though. I'd rather catch these five or 6% plays than trying to play out these 1% plays, right? And then suffering a pullback if you don't sell in time or if you're not watching your screen. I only trade for about an hour a day. I lock in profits or cut my losses at that one hour mark on our live streams. Sometimes I'll let it ride a little longer because I'll have my alerts set and as I'm just chilling or doing other things throughout the day, when my alert gets triggered, I'll check my phone and then sell or if it makes sense. Now, what's cool about that is we're able to consistently grow our account, guys. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this little tidbit here and uh, me talking. I hope it wasn't too long and I didn't rant too much about it. But I want you guys to understand and take away from this four things. One, understanding direction and that it's going up 
in your favor. Two, patterns and understanding that past performance can sometimes predict what's going to happen in the future. Doesn't mean it always has to happen, but patterns do tend to repeat themselves the same way history tends to repeat themselves. Three is knowing key levels. Where is my support level or my safety net? How low can it go and where has it been in the past? And how high can it go due to past performance? And lastly, number four is opportunity cost. I would not put a thousand dollars to make a buck when I know I can lose 50, 60, a hundred dollars because I'm trying to make one dollar. Okay, I'd rather flip that and I'd rather risk a dollar or two dollars knowing that I have a stop loss set if it goes down to make 20, 50, a hundred dollars profit. Now that would be great opportunity cost when it comes to investing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this recap. I go live every single day, Monday through Friday, at Market Open. So whatever time the market opens in your area, you can believe and guarantee I will be live learning and growing and consistently growing my account with other members that join our live streams. Our Learn to Earn community is designed just for you. Second link in the description below. It's a free Discord server where you can jump on Get involved with other like-minded individuals who are consistently growing their accounts with us as we trade live. Maybe day trading is not quite for you. I have another community I created with over 70,000 members. It's the Investing for Beginners community, a private Facebook group. And you can join that by hitting the first link in the description below. Get access to our official website, investingforbeginnerscommunity.com. There's a lot of trading tools on that website that will allow you to become a better investor and trader if that's what you want to do. Appreciate your time, and we'll we, we will be seeing you all in tomorrow's live stream. Don't be late. Just kidding. And you can actually go back and see my morning live stream playlist all designed to help you grow as a trader. I have been trading live every single day this year and we're already in June. So I have over 600 videos all available for you to watch, get inside my head and start understanding and learning how to grow your account and also grow as an investor. Thank you guys for your time. And like always, let's end the year on a green note. And we'll see you all tomorrow morning. Thank you. And have a great rest of your day.